Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today I'm going to be doing, you'll have seen by the title, I'm going to be doing three Father's Day gifts. I always go early, I know we're a month away, but um, I always go early because either just before or after um, Father's Day is my son's birthday and this year it's his 18. So, you know, to, to do all that in in the same week um i just can't do so i i always go early you know with one or the other so i've got three lovely ideas now these ideas are quite versatile <clears throat> you know you're going to see that you don't just have to these aren't just for um father's day they are lovely little gifts for for any birthday any housewarming um any gardener, any day, any day, if you want to just share the love for for someone. So I'm going to get straight on. Um, I've kept them as inexpensive as possible. And when we come to one of them, you're going to see that it can you can take take as much out. But it's just an idea. But this is what I'm doing this year for, for Father's Day. So I've got one at, a gift at five pounds, just under five pounds. I've got a gift at under ten pounds, and I've got one at it come to twenty four ninety eight. Um, but like I say, you can adjust this to however you want to. Um, so without further ado, shall we just get on? First of all, actually, I did want to just say um, thank you so much to everybody who left me such lovely comments um off the back of my last video i really do appreciate all the love that you shared um and all your best wishes um thank you y you know just a nice word here and there you know especially when somebody's feeling so low you never know how far it can go and and your words did go really quite far so thank you very much guys um i've got my little I've got my little bee cup today and I've got my little bee skep there and I'm going to be talking about something but I think I'll leave that one till last and that is that will be the gift that's under £10. So I'm going to start with now I've got I bought my partner some socks because doesn't every male uh, um, and female but you know my son has holes in his socks. My partner has holes in his socks. My dad used to have holes in his socks. Um, you know, I don't know what it is, but uh, maybe it's because the friction in the work boots and stuff. Maybe not my son because he doesn't, uh, he's a student, but even so. Or did he wear them until the thread bare? So what I did, guys, is I bought eight pairs of socks from B&M's. Eight pairs of socks, they were three ninety nine. This is a dead simple gift. It's only socks. There's eight pairs, three ninety nine. And then I've got this box. This this box that I've had from Christmas. And it's quite a nice colour for a um for a male. It's quite a nice colour for a female, but you know, it's just this gift box really. So I thought, well, how can we fancy these socks up? So I've taken them out of the packet. I've just, you know, kept them folded over, placed them in the box. Shove that one down to there because it won't go in the row. But that doesn't matter because that's fit quite nicely in the box. Um. And if you haven't got a, um, so these were 3 99 these socks, and if you haven't got a gift box, um, you can pick them up from the pound shop for a pound. So, so then it's still under five pounds. So this, to me, this, I've already paid for this box. So this gift will be 3 99 And it's just a nice way to give some socks. I mean, look. It had treats in it, but that's what I've done. And I'm now using the ribbon 
that was in the, on this Tower of Treats. And I've just got a little flower here. I mean, I know, um, you know, it's, in fact, I'm not going for all that, uh, who likes flowers and who doesn't. So I'm going to turn this over. Is, I think I've done this right, haven't I? No, I haven't. Get it in the centre if you want it in the centre. It doesn't have to be, in fact, let's not have it in the centre. Tie a little bow, which is just like tying a shoelace. It's a little bit big there, guys. <laughs> so I can trim that off. And put a little... And there you go. It's just three pairs of socks, that, guys. Th uh, three pairs of socks. Eight pairs of socks. 3 99 And it's a nice little gift, isn't it? Having said that, my partner may think he's getting something... <laughs> really special well they are special because he, he's always desperate for socks so um and that's that you know i will pretty that bow up um but that really inexpensive that you know my box was free the ribbon was free the little flower was free and uh, the socks were 3.99 so that's that one for under under five pounds this next one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight to the 20, this is a £25 one. And it, you know, you can, you you will see the elements in this. I've got all these from B&M's by the way. So the socks came from B&M's, uh, the box I already had. These things that I'm going to show you came from B&M's. Um, and this would have been part of my haul the other week. Um, you know, last week when I said I could have done a big haul, but instead I'm going to make these things up out of it. So there's no point. There was no point really anyway, so it's worked out quite nice. So I've got a barbecue set. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make a barbecue hamper, Um, you know, Father's Day. Ideal, an ideal gift for Father's Day, a barbecue hamper, you know, with barbecue tools and stuff. Um. But not only that, you know, a housewarming gift, if you were to, you know, if you if somebody had got the first home and or any home and they've got a garden, you know, and it it's just a nice little housewarming gift, isn't it? Um, it's a perfect summer gift uh, for anybody at all, really, if they have, you know, if they're able to do barbecuing, that is, you know, but it is a great summer gift, a barbecue hamper. Um, but you can make this as big as you like, or you can make it as small as you like. I'm, I've picked, all the bits that I have picked up. I picked up, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you now. In one of my hauls, uh, a, a couple of hauls ago, I think it was when I was doing some charity shop hauls as well. When I've done some charity shop, and I got that basket, and that's what I, th I was thinking of. I thought, oh yeah, you know, I want to do this uh, barbecue hamper for my partner. I mean, I love. Uh, doing anything like that and encouraging him to barbecue because it means that I don't cook okay I do do some chopping of salad making potato salad and stuff but you know I am off the hook as regards as the cooking goes and stuff so I will encourage this gift <laughs> um but um so yeah I bought that basket but then the th the things everything that I bought I underestimated the size of that basket or overestimated the yeah, overestimated the size of the basket because it it was too small yeah overestimated into i think then um it was too small guys for the things that i bought so i bought this which is a three barbecue tool set three pack barbecue tools ideal for all your barbecue needs it was eight pounds i'm going to take that off now 
take the little sticker off because it's a gift um you've got your tongs your fork and your spatula in there so um i also picked up uh the three in one barbecue brush so it's got that um yeah it's got the scraper it's got the scrubber and it's got the wire wire brush and i'm going to put that back on to protect it and to protect others it, and that cost three pounds so i'm going to hopefully take this sticker off as well it's going to be a really cute hamper the box that i'm using it, it will they certainly wouldn't go in that basket that I got, guys. So I'm, I had to go and get another basket. Now, you don't have to use a basket. You can use a cardboard box. Um, you can use anything you've got, really. Uh, you don't even have to do that. If you've got a little bit of cellophane, I'll, I'll show you the cellophane. I'm not going to cellophane this, guys, and I'll tell you for why, because there's no... It, it, you know there is no call for it i'm not literally gifting it i'm gifting it to my partner so where i can save on plastic i will do so there's no point in me using the cellophane i'm sure he he's not going to miss a bow and a bit of cello but if you were going to give it to um someone that you were taking it to you know then and you wanted to make it pretty um i use now I've got plain and I've got flowered cellophane. So I use this. Now this has come from wholesale. So um, this is, I haven't got the craft mat at the table, so I couldn't tell you how wide, but I do know that they sell these in the range and it, they're inexpensive. Having said that, I didn't catch the price while I was in there. So, um, but it's inexpensive, you know, um, and worth buying a roll and like I say they do a, a mini roll in the range I saw it there the other week last week um so I would use something like this but I'm not going to use cellophane um guys because it, it's pointless it's it's pointless use you know because it is for my partner um and it's just going to be something that has to be has to be um you know disposed of in a proper fashion um so let's get back to this so then i got i got some the spice emporium so this is barbecue seasoning grinders in here you have got chicken grill texas barbecue and spicy barbecue so you know they're your grinders to me they all look pretty much the same <laughs> i'm not sure if they actually are actually let's read on the back of the pack the chicken grill which is 240 grams here we go with my wonky glasses the chicken grill it's got sea salt garlic flakes onion flakes yellow mustard seeds allspice chili flakes paprika flakes cumin seeds thyme bay leaf flavor so i assume the flavor that might be a bit of msg you know um and it does contain mustard and may traces may contain traces of soy gluten celery and sesame seeds um the texas barbecue is sea salt black peppercorns chili flakes paprika so it they are different cumin seeds the spicy barbecue is black peppercorns, chili flakes, garlic flakes, onion flakes, coriander seeds, paprika flakes and chives. So they are all different according to the back of the pack. Um, they're a fair size though. So they're all the ingredients there on the barbecue seasoning grinders. And they're, uh, they're the grinders. Really quite nice that. Um, I picked him... There was no price on there, but hang on. Um, I've got my receipt here. They were... Mm. 
can't see it. Oh yeah, there. Uh, four pounds. They were four pounds. Then I picked up these barbecue skewers and there is a hundred bamboo skewers in there. They were three pounds. Pretty good, really. Three pounds. They come in a... Um, can you see? You peel back, peel it back and then you put your little put your little lid on once you've opened them to keep them safe so that's pretty good as well isn't it a hundred for three pounds then i picked up some gherkins for the burgers <laughs> I, they were a pound i picked up this hot sauce um it's got three it's got three flames uh out of three flames out of four um Sauce or marinade, get the scorch, the scotch bonnet in there. We like a scotch bonnet. So um, uh, that was, I think that was 129 guys. I picked up some yellow mustard for the burgers. Picked up some marshmallows, toasted marshmallows. They were a pound. The mustard was a pound. And, you know, to, to really encourage it, you know, I picked up a bottle of Desperados. Is it Desperados or Desperados? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know, guys? So I picked up a bottle of that and I think that was two, two sixty nine. So this is coming, to, it's going to look really quite nice, guys, isn't it? And like I say, you know, if you want to keep this as cheap as possible, you could just choose a few elements of that. So all this that I have chosen um, for this little barbecue gift set um, for Father's Day, or like I say, it's so versatile, it can be for a, a housewarming, it can be for a birthday, it can be for any summer's day really can't it so um it came to 24.98 that did now like i say i overestimated the size of that basket guys um so when i came to wash the liner you know to put i thought that it's never it's never gonna fit because you know that box with the tools in is quite big and stuff so i've I had another basket it was this hamper basket this white hamper basket and this will be ideal. Um, so I already had this. But like I'm saying to you guys, it, you can use a cardboard box. You can use whatever, you know. And if you're using less than what I've got, you know, you really, you really can pick up a box. You can pick up a box from a shop, can't you, you know. Um, so let's get a crock in with this and then... So this one is less than £25, however, you do it for how you, um, there's Henrietta there, oh yeah, finger's not going, um, you do it to however you want, she's there because I don't know where to put her, um, right. So, always start with your drawer stuff first. So I'll put that back like that. Put that like that. Uh, is that going to go like that? Or... Oh, mind you, don't prick yourself on that brush, Claire bamboos there it is quite thingy that um now i've got this but you know it's packing like uh, it's that packaging with, it's filled with air i'm gonna put that down there you know i already have that as well because it's come when it when something's been delivered Your, your seasoning 
uh, your gherkins, your yellow mustard and your hot sauce, actually hot sauce and then the yellow mustard. I think the bottle can go there. Take that out a minute, put those in. Hurry those there. Birkins, hot sauce, mustard. And that, guys, without too much messing about, is a perfect hamper. Now, like I say, um, I would cellophane it if I was giving it to somebody. Um, in which case I would get my huge roll of cellophane and I would bring some up the front, some up the back. You'd want it dead on centre. You'd gather it at the sides. And if you had any excess here, you'd fold it in. Um, but to me, I think my partner's going to really like that. I will. I, I, what I should have done, actually, guys, was put a little bow Put a little bow, you can put a little bow on if you've got a bit of ribbon. I have got some purple ribbon, more of that. Well, I've got plenty of ribbon, but we're doing it on a budget and we don't, I don't want to go eating into. So this is ribbon that I had. You could put a little bow, it's a bit scruffy. Um, I really like that and I, I know my partner will so yeah I'll, I'll stop messing <clears throat> and I'll put this bow on uh, in a bit because the next gift so that was 24.98 and as you could see you could take things out of there if you only wanted to put the tools in and the the um the tools and the spice which would be 12 pound um or if you wanted to do you know the just the sauces and the the haribos uh or just the barbecue rubs with a bottle of beer you know it's entirely up to you what you put in it but that's what i've chosen because i am I'm, I'm not doing it just for the purpose of the video i'm doing it for my partner so that was under 22 pence under 25 pounds with the basket that i already had and just those items that i chose for him um and like i say my partner likes to barbecue you know um so that's an ideal gift for him um now the next item, this is a, a, for under £10. Um, this is the gift that, and this is, I've saved this one because to, to me, this is the best. Uh, I've saved the best till last. Um, but there's also an important message behind this one. And I'm always rooting about online. And um, I thought, y you know, I'd bought my little, I'd, I'm always feeding the birds and stuff and I'd bought my little, um, my little bug house and um, for bees and ladybirds and lace wings <clears throat> and I'm always poking about and there's always something that I might read or something that leads me to something else and I came across these and they are bee bombs. If you're not familiar with them, if you are familiar with them, you'll know what I'm talking about. They're absolutely fantastic. So, bee bombs. And they are native wildflower seed balls, um, handmade in Dorset. They come in this beautiful little hessian uh, or jute bag. Um, all I've done, guys, I'm going to tell you about these in a minute. But first of all, all I've done is put them in a cup. I, had, I hadn't got a Father's Day cup. This is a cup that I bought from Home Bargains a, a number of years ago. I've got a fair few of them. They're down there in that cupboard. Uh, my daughter was going to um, craft 
do some crafts and she was going to use these mugs. So we've got a fair few of them. So I pulled this out. It's got a nice little heart on it. Um, this, again, is such a versatile gift. This could be gifted for uh, birthdays, Christmas. It could be gifted for any time of year. Now, these were £7.99. And the, the, in, in, a bee bomb is um, wildflowers wildflower seeds and this is how they come now you've got many of these in this bag that's how they come they're seeds in in clay um and they're native to this country these wildflowers um and they are um a bee's best friend and we are we all know what's happening with the bees don't we so this to me is a gift that's going to keep on giving because you know you're going to gift if you gift you you know i bought this for myself i'll be honest this isn't for my partner but what i'm saying is if if you bought this for a grandfather a father a bit somebody's birthday a keen gardener somebody who's got a, t a rooftop terrace because you don't necessarily have to have a garden to grow these so you throw these bee bombs you don't there's no gardening required so long as you've got a clear area um, clear of grass and stuff and you literally throw these bee bombs just throw them onto the top of the soil you don't have to dig you don't have to do nothing just leave them on the soil make sure they're watered that's just that's about as far as it gets just make sure they're watered until they're ready to germinate and when they germinate you know you're going to get such a good return on those but not only that they're going to benefit our country they're going to benefit our bees they're going to benefit us so it's a gift that keeps on giving and honestly i cannot um stress that enough to to any to anyone it's a perfect gift it's an absolute perfect gift so i'm going to show you i'm dropping some so you get quite a lot in here i'm going to put them back in the bag because there is seeds in there and i don't want to drop any so like I say, all you do is you clear a bit of soil and just dash these on. You just throw them on and just make sure they're watered. Um, and when the seeds are ready to germinate for the first year, you'll get 20% return on them. You'll get 20% of the, of the actual flowers. They cover 21 square feet. Um, yeah 21 square foot all those do so you can throw them in pots you can throw them on the soil you can throw them wherever you like and in the first year you're going to get 20 percent of those 18 species growing in the second year you'll get you'll get so they're perennials which means they'll come back each year which is fabulous i've got a nice little clearing in my garden ready for these i'm just going to dash these on um but i really wanted to show them to you in case you are interested i didn't know they existed but now i do you know when you research because i was thinking you know because i like to encourage nature and i thought well what what you know uh flowers for the bees because i've been what uh i follow a group on facebook and it's called irish gardening and people are always asking how can they get rid of the dandelions and the answer the answer is and the answer that everybody's getting is don't kill the dandelions don't put weed killer on them that's the bees first food you know um and you know but people see them as weeds don't they and and they just they just want rid of them um but when you put weed killer on them it's killing the bees and you know it's going to kill us in it because they they're very they're very important to to us as humans you know pollinating the our foods and stuff um and so i can't stress that enough so basically with those you get a nice little leaflet and you can actually go on their site and no i i bought these with my own money i know i'm quite passionate about it and i'm not trying to sell you anything i'm just telling you um about it i no, these haven't been given to me they've not been gifted to me they don't even know i've got a youtube channel do you know what i mean i just ordered them for myself um because i was very interested um in the 18 species of wildflower believe it or not guys I, i'm just overwhelmed with this 
So your B bonds will, retu will return 21 square foot of the 97%, 97% of the wildflower habitat Britain has lost since World War II. That's incredible, isn't it? We've lost 90% of our wild wildflower habitat. And that's not just your bees. You've got your bats. You've got your, um, you know, you've got your bats. You've got your butterflies. You've got your bees. They're all pollinators. Um, so in here, you you have yarrow, common knapweed, wild carrot, ladies' bed straw, rough hawk bit, oxeye daisy, ribwort, plantain. Cowslip, self heel, corn marigold, yellow rattle, common sorrel, salad burnet, white champion, red champion, common poppy, corn flower, and corn chamomile. You see, now all those wildflowers to me are absolutely that sounds like heaven. And if they're gonna then, you know, be great for 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 the for the environment, for the for the the birds, the uh, for the bees and the um, and the butterflies. You know, and and they're gonna look pretty. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? Like I say, it's a gift that keeps on giving. So if you've got a grandpa or um, a daddy uh, that wants to, you know, that likes to do a little bit of gardening and not necessarily do a little bit of gardening, or you've got somebody that has a nice little terrace with some pots on and stuff, I think that's that ideal. The cup's just a different, t you know, just something to put the thing in. It could be a dad cup, you know, from Home Bargains for a pound. Um, I've like I say I've chosen this one because I haven't got a dad cup but it could be this and then you could wrap that in cellophane put a little bow on it and that the bee bombs are £7.99 with free postage um, um, and say your cup's a pound you know so there's another gift and that's under £10 um, I'm really happy with these and I'm glad that I came across them uh, not the cup <laughs> I've had the cup for a while I'm really pleased with myself that I came across them and I'm pretty sure that there's plenty of you out there that know but I'm pretty sure that there's plenty out there that don't know too so I thought I would share that with you and I think it really is a lovely they d really do make a lovely gift um and like I say you can actually go on the on the website which is b uh, bbombs.com and uh so you know, no gardening, tilling or digging is required. Bee bombs don't require to be planted or tended. Just throw your bee bombs onto clear ground, water liberally, keep the seed stamp and await your wildflowers. Wildflowers are hardy, but a little slower to grow than many imported flowers. Some of the annuals should bloom in the first year and the perennials may take. So you'll get an annual which will not come back next year, but your perennials, which will be there year on year, take two years to grow so it, it's fantastic it really is fun i'm just <laughs> you know uh, i'm i'm blown away by it and i'm glad that there's a company out there that's doing that's doing these bee bombs uh like i say the 7.99 for 21 square foot and the gift that keeps on giving so there were my gifts so you've got one at 3.99 that's under a fiver one at 7.99 8 99 if you throw a pound in for the cup uh, that's under a tenner and you've got your 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 basket um that was for, for me was 24 98 um under 25 pound for father's day so they, they're all lovely father's day gifts and um just ways of of gifting and i just thought i'd share that with you because like i say apart from the socks guys the bee bombs and the barbecue basket um you know you can give that any time really you know during the summer the spring and summer months because they're perfect gifts um so that was that was that and um i have got my next three videos planned i did say we were going to get back to basics and do some flowers i haven't got anything creative in me right at the moment guys in it, i've got things that i need to do and because i need to do them it's putting me off and that's the truth so, um, what day are we? Tuesday, aren't we? Hope you had a really lovely weekend, folks. Um, I did. I went rooting and tooting. Um, my, my partner, you know, I was so, um, you know, and so um, Sunday we, we had a little look on a, a car boot 
on a car boot. We've got there right at the end though, guys. Um, but I did pick a couple of bits up. Uh, I'll show you those perhaps on Friday. Um, we did a little charity shop as well. Um, and I went to see my mum and uh, I went to see my uh, nephew and my nieces at, at Ardonna's. So that was nice, you know. Um, it was very nice to see them. And uh, yeah, and that was it. I hope everybody's really well. And every, do we, I say that all the time, don't I? I hope everyone's really well because I genuinely mean it. You guys have been so kind to me um and and patient with me really as well um you know but i was saying to my friend it is only five months since i lost my sister and five months is that's you know for a lifetime 51 years you know known as obviously since the day i was born it's a drop in the ocean that is really so but your, all your kind words and stuff you you honestly you really are fantastic um and some some conversations that we have in the comments box and some conversations that we have via email and stuff. Um, so I think on Friday I'm going to come back with a little bit of skincare because um, I've ordered something guys and apparently it's Botox in a Botox in a bottle. When I was so low over the weekend, you know, until I went to see my family members, I was, you know, I've, I've got no patience in that respect. I can't sit and spend time. I just flick on, flick off, flick on, because I haven't got the headspace. There's no room for anything else, you know, and there was no distracting me. So anyway, I did stumble across this... Um, this product, um, cheap as chips, claims to be better than Botox, but you only put it in certain areas of your uh, face. So I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to do a little skincare haul. It's not massive. So actually what I might do is I might throw in the few bits and pieces that I got from um, the car boot. <laughs> totally forgot totally forgot um and yeah i have bought a lamp uh, no i haven't bought a lamp i bought a lampshade for the lamp um you know all you again the feedback on that has been great guys because you're all saying to me oh leave it as it is which then i thought yeah actually you know it's not as bad as i thought it was i'd you know I don't know why I was thinking it was so bad. Also, uh, use thinner, uh, thinner jute and perhaps just do the middle piece, which again, I might do that. But I have um, got, a um, found a lamp, you know, a, a lampshade. So I'm going to put that on and see how I feel about it because I might even do the lampshade. Um so, but you know something, guys. You know what I am waiting for. That that I've still got that vase there. Uh, that I sprayed gold. You know, with the candle holder that I sprayed gold. I still got it there. Uh, because I'm waiting for my glue. Now I'm gonna have to chase that up because I ordered it last week and it's not arrived yet. Um, so I'm gonna have to chase that up because they say it's dispatched, but it's not got to me yet. So and I, I you know, I really wanted to move on with that. Um. So I think that's it for me, guys, today. It's been absolutely lovely to see you. And um, if, you, if you're not familiar with this channel, you know, when you have just popped in um, and you'd like to subscribe, then please consider it because, you know, we do quite, um, quite a lot of different things on this channel, really. Um, I do floral design, I do wreaths, I do crafts, I do things like this. I do try on hauls, um, shopping hauls, um, and ever expanding we are. <laughs> you know, we just go with the flow. If 
that's that's what we should have been called go with the flow but no it's polly put the petal on and my name is claire and thanks so much for watching and uh, like i say you know you wouldn't believe that that's a box of socks you know but socks to some people are invaluable these bee bombs i can't you know stress enough what a fantastic gift that is there's somebody at my door want it never a dull moment guys and so yeah that is absolutely fantastic that gift and this you know encouraging the barbecue we had a barbecue at the weekend actually guys but we had an indoor barbecue because i thought you know i don't care what the weatherman says and i said that on my instagram uh, we had an indoor barbecue, so there we go. I love barbecue food, don't you? And there's that basket. And like I say, you can, you know, if you wanted to gift wrap it in cellophane or anything like that, and I will put a little bow on it, but I'm not going to wrap it in cellophane, guys, because that's a waste of cellophane. Not only is it a waste of cellophane, it's I've then got to dispose of that. You know, it's more plastic into the environment. So I've just, I've just, um, it's very rare I use that cellophane. That's why there's so much of it. Uh, I only use it, you know, when necessary. It, and is it ever necessary, guys? I don't know. You know, on one hand, I'm telling you about the buzzy bees and the environment and stuff. And the next thing, uh, you know, so no, it's probably going to stay there forever. Um. So anyway, so yeah. Lovely little hamper, you know, you can make any hamper for anything. And if you really think about, whoops, if you really think about, you know, what's going in it and stuff, you know, it can be as interesting as you like, can't it? So thank you for watching, guys. And um, I'll see you all on Friday, uh, all being well. And um, you're all superstars. Thanks very much for those lovely words. Thank you. Bye.